Welcome back, my Crowdon crew. Before we get this episode started, I would like to ask you to crab hammer that like button and consider subscribing to join the crew. So, in the last episode, I believe we went to Glittering Cave and took on the first encounter with Team Flare, and that that was pretty easy. Although we did lose our Shadow the Zora in that episode, you guys decided, and uh, people told me that you wanted to see. Sparky, the Rotom fan, in this episode. So I grinded him up, and if you saw the grinding montage, then uh, it's all good and everything. So I'll go over a little party update, and then uh, that'll be it. So we have Um at level 20 with uh, finally a different move Ember, String Shot, Leech, Life, and Takedown. Still the awesome Tim in nature, so Takedown's not gonna do much. Now Sparky with Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock, Confuse Ray, and Air Slash. Tyrant. Or a king with bite, stomp, ice fang, and dragon dance. And this swine up that we hatched, 10,000 BC, um, icy wind, stealth rock, freeze dry, and icicle spear, was actually given to me by Storm, uh, and I got to decide its name. So, Storm, Storm picked this Pokemon out, or I got to pick out the name, and I just thought 10,000 BC was a good name. Now, Butt Face McGee has round, lick, water pulse, and quick attack, and then. Base God has Pursuit and Absorb, Leech Seed, and Leaf Storm. So nothing really changed with them. Uh, I'll go over the Pokemon that we hatched in the uh, grinding montage type deal. Alright, um... Let's see, uh, not deposit, no deposit, organize. So we hatched another Fion, Storm Surge, got him up to level 18. Uh, Ganon, uh, the Tepig, I had to get him up to level 15. And Spy, the Drillbur, had to get up to level 15 as well. And that's pretty much it. That's all we did. So in this episode, we'll probably be taking on Grant or whatever the hell his name is in this. But let's go get the bike first because it's right here. Oh ho ho, welcome, welcome. Come right this way. What time do you have, young man? Did you know that our 10,000 and first customer, uh, whoa, that you are our 10,000 and first customer since we opened up? Yes, you are lucky number 10,001. If you'd come, you have been number 10,000, then you could have gotten a bicycle for free. But as a runner up, you could still get a chance to win a bicycle by answering our quiz correctly. If ready, then here we go. Your question is, do bicycles come in more than one color? Of course! I'm gonna go with the green bike, because the green bike seems more amazing. Ooh, and I'm trying to record this at a better quality, so the screen's a bit bigger, and uh, that, that's how it's gonna be. But, I really don't know how it's gonna work out. Because, uh, oh, what the hell? Oh dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over. I took first place. I feel bad that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you this strength HM as consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, it will be able to push large rocks around. Ah sweet, we needed strength actually, so it's not a hassle getting all the way back to Lumios. On that note, I'll be waiting in the gym. Come challenge me at your leisure. All right, all right. Um, I feel like I should lead with 10,000 BC, just so we can get some cool screen time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna be much help since Rock resists uh, ice, doesn't it? Isn't it super effective against ice Pokemon? At least I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, go up here. Ah, uh, damn. Man, I wanted to avoid most of these battles, but it's already going to be a shorter episode as is. So, it really doesn't matter. And I could get to the next town, hopefully. Oh, God. Dwebble. I wonder, am I still super effective? I'm going to go for Icicle Spear. 
No, it's not super effective. So, he's not gonna be much- Oh, God. That stupid fucking... Ah, oh, sweet, I hit five times. Uh-oh. Okay, that- Unless he hits five times, then I don't see us having a problem with him. Although, I don't- Oh, God. Okay, four times. I got five times and a crit. And he got four times. Uh, I'm probably just gonna lead with Buttface McGee, then. I don't know if I have my, uh, oh god. Has that been popped up the whole time? Are you serious? Wow. God damn. I, I need to find a different way. Ah, that stupid fucking pop-up. I hate that shit. Are you serious? How many times is he gonna hit? Jesus. Alright, water pulse. Let's go for that water pulse. Alright, there we go. Relicant. Uh, base god can handle this guy pretty well. I'm gonna have to potion it up already. Jesus. Alright, Relicant. You're about to get... Actually, I could have used Freeze Dry. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Leaf Storm. I don't have time for this. And he gets wrecked. One shot by base god, because base god is a monster. Good job, base god. Good job, good job. Uh, no, I don't want to teach you Screech. Why would I want to teach you Screech? Alright, good job, base god. Good job, good job. Now, I'm already going to have to heal up. That sucks. Um, super potion. Probably should... Oh, I don't have any more to suit. Well, looks like we're going back to get some super potions. Alright, uh, go back and get some super potions. Uh, I might as well get this item too. The next defense. Awesome, it's pointless and useless. Alright, now let's heal up and just buy as many super potions as we can. Get them awesome super potions. And then... Come on, move out of the way. If you're not buying anything, move out of the way, bitch. Um, Let's get 15. I'm probably going to need 15 as is anyways. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm a, I'm a bit tired right now. Just, uh, just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, let's roller skate our ass back up to Grant. Right. And we'll put Buttface McGee in the first slot. Now, who, who's going to be best for... I know Grant has Amora and Tyrant. I remember that really clearly. I think they're both 25. I'm I'm at least sure that they're both 25. Maybe maybe Amora is a lower level, but I know Tyrant's at least 25. And I believe yeah, we can avoid him. We don't really Ah oh, god damn it. Only those with noble spirit can try and take on the gym challenge. Alright, let's hurry up and do this. Manon. Rising what the Rising Star Man. Oh, you motherfucker. You just had to show up again, huh? Just had to show up. You know what? Eat it. Take this. Take it in your face. Oh, and you lived it. This Soul Rock is an asshole. Go for the water pulse. Fuck this thing up. And I bumped the table because I'm stupid. Uh, Alright. Lunatone. Now, Lunatone, they, I think they both have the same stats. So, he'll probably be able to take this Water Pulse pretty easily. So... Mm, oh, no. Oh, is a crit. Nice. Now, I don't know if they heal up in this. They've been known to heal up before, so I'm just gonna go for a lick. 
I'm turning into a ghost type, bitch. Turning into a ghost type. Damn, 726 experience. I don't want to lead with Grovile because... Uh, against Grant, he has a Mora and that has Refrigerate. And a takedown Refrigerate is going to fuck me up. And then Tyrant's going to get wrecked. I have a big Ice Weakness. And I think the next trainer we can avoid. Yeah, we can't avoid him. If we're lucky enough. Ah, fuck me. You know what? Climbing is a lot like solving a puzzle. It's a game of logic. I could have avoided that. That is ass. Man. All right, right horn. Well, you're not going to be taking this water pulse, man. I might just lead. No, I can't lead with Rotom Fan. Rotom Fan's gonna get wrecked by a ice move. Huh. How about. Alright, I'm gonna switch to. I'll go with Base God. Base God. Base God. I'll lead. Oh, fuck, what am I gonna do? I really have no idea what I'm gonna do against Amora. Amora kind of shuts my team down pretty badly. You got sturdy, you asshole. Are you serious? Oh, and you... Cool. Nose pass is stupid. Now, unnecessary damage and I'm paralyzed. That is the best thing ever. Fucking nose pass. Probopass pass is even stupider. And an onyx. Um. Hmm. I'm just gonna lead with lead with you, 10,000 BC. I bet you can at least do some damage to this guy. Um, what does more? Uh, let's just go with freeze dry. You're faster than me. Wow. What nature am I? Am I jolly? Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked, bitch. Now if only I had ice shard. Uh, okay, that didn't do a lot. We're good, we're good. Now you get wrecked, Onyx. Screw you, I'm oblivious, so I don't have thick fat, so I can't take any ice moves pretty well, so I can't lead with you, so what the fuck am I gonna do against this Amora? Huh. I really have no idea. I really just have no idea. I think I'm just gonna lead with... I'll just lead with fucking... Buttface McGee. I'm just gonna lead with Buttface McGee, and I need to put my 3DS on the charger. So one second. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to lead with Buttface McGee. He's our best option. Hopefully, I am able to one shot or at least get confusion. Remember, guys, always save before. Uh, before you do anything important and one second because that's gonna pop up on the screen and I'm sorry okay I've been waiting in eager into ah let me restart that I've been waiting in eager anticipation what have I been waiting for for a worthy challenger to appear it's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here very impressive actually I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me your true skill as a trainer it surpasses even mine. All right, Grant, let's do this. Let's do this. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. That is a perfect, perfect screenshot. Thumbnail. 
Alright, butt face McGee. Now let's see if I can handle this thing. Yeah, I was right. They're, they're both 25. Alright, go for the water pulse. Can I fuck it up? Uh, I can two shot it. And we get the confusion. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Oh, wow. That sucks. Uh, water pulse. Hurt yourself. Please hurt yourself, Amora. Yeah, sweet. So the Amora... I was worried about the Amora. Like... It was actually a bit scary. Alright, Tyron. So we're gonna go into 10,000 BC. And hopefully we can just ice shard this thing to death. How about I go with the icy wind first, just to slow it down. Because that did way too much. I'll go into my own Tyrun, okay? I'll go into King, the King of Tyruns. That ain't gonna do shit. I can go for a Dragon Dance. Don't you dare flinch me, okay. And I'm gonna heal up just in case. Because I really don't feel like losing another Pokemon, especially my adorable little fucking Tyrant. Because he's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. And that's awesome. Well, let's just go for the Ice Fang and hope I don't miss. You know what I'd really like to do for once? not flinch that would really really help me a lot now don't you flinch me don't you crit either okay oh I am not gonna risk it I'm gonna heal up but the paralysis I mean, not paralysis, frozenness. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. I think I can just go for bite, and that'll one-shot it. You thought out. Wow. And he gets to flinch. Oh, my God. I spit on my DS. Why are you flinching me so much? What, do you have King's Rock on him? Are you serious? Now it's just turning into a stall battle. Grant, come on, man. I swear to God, you crit me or flinch me. I'm going to be extremely upset. Don't you crit. Don't you crit. Ah. Uh... Why? <laughs> why, Grant? Why? Okay, that doesn't do much. Stomp sucks. Now I can go for a bite. If you flinch me... Oh my... Fucking God! Are you serious? What the hell is this shit? What does Bite have a 90% chance to flinch? That is complete bullshit. Everyone knows that, right? You saw how many fucking f flinches he got? You have proven to be a wall that I am unable to surmount. 
Oh my god. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it is important you, that you never give up, no matter what the opponents or the odds. I could tell from our Pokemon battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the Cliff Badge. I just want to say that those fucking flinches were complete and utter bullshit. I literally could not do anything because he constantly flinched. That is really fucking stupid. That he was able to do that much damage and have to make me heal spam for like four minutes. Unless he had a King's Rock, he should not have been flinching me that much. I just, whatever, whatever. That's bull. Let's just heal up our Pokemon. And, uh, I believe that's where I'm gonna end the episode, guys. So, if you, if you appreciated this episode, if you enjoyed it, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here and consider subscribing to never miss an episode or a video and uh, stay crabby guys I'll see you next time